first thing that just wells up is my uh, my daughter. I'm <laughs> I'm proudest of my daughter. I have this fabulous daughter who's a physician in California, just doing wonderful work. Uh, isn't that funny? I <clears throat> so I'm proudest of that. I'm, um, I I love leading Wellesley College, and I'm very proud of what we accomplished there and the. Um, the way we accomplished it, the kinds, you know, I have, I have these wonderful colleagues and partners, the deans, the vice presidents, the trustees, I love working with students, student leaders, and I think, um, I think I'm prou proudest of, of the way we worked together, that we, that we made, you know, we did some great things, we had some great successes, we had some big struggles and some failures and some you know, tragedies even. You know, you know. Um, and we always stayed in connection. We always kept coming back to each other and um, making sure that the, the, the interpersonal connections were solid and making sure that we were taking every opportunity in every situation to learn as much as we could about what we had experienced, what the meaning was of the thing that we had experienced, and how we could take that meaning and, uh, and go forward with it in a new direction towards something you know, even more meaningful and even more significant. And I, so that, that dynamic, I guess, in, in, the, in the leadership and the sort of community building that happened at Wellesley during those 14 years that I was there was was really magical and special. And I think we all, all of us who were close to it, knew that and that there was something going on there that was really a privilege to be part of. Mm -hmm.